This is CVTV live here in Las Vegas. We are at Wispapalooza. I'm with the KP Performance team. Guys, I understand that you just had a big product launch with the uh, ProLine series. Uh, I'd like to talk a little bit about how it benefits service providers and why we should be excited about it. So Yeah, for sure. So uh, I'm Justin Pollock. I'm the intent engineer with KP. Uh, so yeah, we we decided last year to, that we have to step up what we do for the sectors. So we decided we're going to do this pro line of sectors, which has um, a phenomenal performance in terms of your gain, mm -hmm. uh, very flat gain performance across your entire band, and ultra wide bandwidths too, from 4.9 to 6.4 to reach international markets. Uh, another interesting feature of them is the the front to back. So you're going to be able to do frequency reuse with these sectors um, and and maximize your spectral efficiency. Mm -hmm. So so it's uh, we're pretty excited with the, with the sectors right now. Too. And I guess with the front to back uh, ratio, um, that's for minimal interference across the network, right? Yeah, exactly. So your your uh, sector interference, uh, you're going to reduce it uh, uh, tremendously by, by using these sectors, um, and so it's going to improve your, your your quality of service to your clients, mm -hmm. uh, and, and and at the same time, you're going to be able to uh, you know reach out farther because uh, these sectors just have very high gain on them, so you're going to be able to get very far coverage distance with them. Mm -hmm. yep. uh, one of the things that I'm um, pretty excited about learning about this product is the um, the upper side lobe suppression. Um, if you want to talk a little bit about that and how that benefits WISPs. Yeah, sure. That's uh, when when you do this, it um, it allows you to prevent intercell interference, right? So if you have a cell further out on the horizon, you don't want your antenna interfering with your other antenna. So when you su suppress the upper lobes, it allows uh, it allows you to basically sort of just it's almost like an electrical down tilt. Yeah. So it allows you to uh, have less signal going further out where you don't want it and more signal going where you need it. Right. Um, one of the key places is right underneath the tower, right? Yeah. Um, talk a little bit about maybe the um, the null um, filling. Yeah, going for on sure. There. So when when you have a sector, it's made up of, of multiple elements in the vertical direction in order to narrow your beam width as much as you can and focus that power, get your high gain. Uh, as a consequence of doing that, you end up sharply dropping off your signal right below your main beam and uh, we characterize that by the null the first null uh, so that first null in the first few degrees below your main beam if it drops off too quickly you're going to end up um, um, cutting off your, your your signal close to the tower so what we do when we design these antennas is we design the the, the feed networks in them to to redistribute the power a little bit more below below the antenna so you fill in that first null it's called null filling uh, and it improves the signal strength close to the tower in the first uh, 500 meters. So to benefit yeah. those subscribers exactly. that are close by. Yeah. Um, now, I understand these um, these antennas are pretty durable, too. Can yes. you talk a little bit about the, how they're constructed? Uh, all better. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. So they're, um, I mean, we've got a bunch right here. So uh, one thing to, of note here is, uh, no, <laughs> if we can get over there. But anyway, the, the back plane is a fully anodized aluminum. Um, it, and so it has great uh, weather uh, environmental pr protection. The front is a UV resistant radome um, and the way it's constructed it's very strong you can drop it it's still gonna be fine <laughs> kind of thing um, another thing to note is the brackets are very robust uh, um, <clears throat> they're, they're powder coated um, powder coated hardware um, fully aluminum brackets uh, and just very strong you know kind of very <laughs> I don't know, they're, they're do well, so. With yeah. lots of options yeah, for lots. mounting and uh, uh, and your uh, mechanical down tilt. And, yeah. and when you talk about mounting too, um, I understand that it'll save tower space um, and reduce costs uh, for rentals. That's right, there, there's a, a couple of issues there that we wanted to focus on. The first is uh, multi-connectors mm -hmm. on the uh, sectors. So um, that's to incorporate the, the four by four MIMO radios that are coming out. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you are still using just two by two, you could have a spare radio on the tower for redundancy if you wanted, or uh, to double the throughput. So that's one antenna that's taking care of these two functions. Right. Uh, additionally, we have um, antennas that cover uh, different frequencies. Mm -hmm. So we have one antenna, multiple ports, and two different frequencies. Mm -hmm. So again, one uh, connection on the tower, and now you, you've doubled the throughput in that sector. Mm -hmm. um, 
Great. Um, anything else um, that you want to share about um, about the antennas or anything coming up? So these parabolics are going to be for point-to-point uh, -point applications, either your backhaul or client side. Uh, and we designed these to have ultra-low side lobes, so they're going to be very excellent in high-density uh, situations where you have clients interfering with each other. Mm -hmm. uh, these side lobes, they beat Etsy Class 1 spec, uh, which is just a, a, a spec that's uh, very um, well-known in international markets. Um, but the side lobes get all the way down to 30 dB very rapidly, and then the front to back on the, the two-foot dish that we have is 40 plus, and then on the uh, one-foot dish over there that we have is uh, 35 plus. So you're going to be very happy with these, these uh, very high-gain, low side lobe uh, antennas. For very um, directed... Um Oh, the, the, the pencil beam pretty much uh, um, between your, your client and access point. So um, There's also a unique uh, patent pending quick connect uh, connector on the on the feed on okay. the antenna. So uh, currently we have N-type connectors and uh, radio specific for uh, Mimosa C5Cs and then we can design other radio specific type mounts and it's all through a, this very neat slick quick connect. For, for easy setup. Exactly. And, and maintenance. Yep. That's um, it. Great. Well, how can we learn more about uh, about your products? Hit our website, kpperformance.com, uh, our Facebook page.